Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, and this time we're gonna learn Riders on the Storm. First, I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, riff by riff, note by note, chord by chord, finger position by finger position with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. Goes like this. Enjoy. Before we start, I would like to remind you that if you're having trouble with the material on Lick and Riff, or if you feel that you're not yet ready for my Complete Guitar Freedom course series, I now have a complete beginner course from A to Z designed to take you from complete beginner, okay, with no prior guitar knowledge, to intermediate. It's a seven hour full beginner course for guitar that encompasses everything you need to know from basic chords to finger style to soloing to techniques and rhythm and even musicality. The beginner course is called Strike a Chord and you can find it on the Graphy platform. Graphy is a new platform for mobile learning, okay? for courses on your mobile or on your iPad or tablet. It's designed as portrait mode, so the entire screen is filled with video, so you can learn a lot easier than if you only have the video at the top of the screen or if you have to turn it around. So check it out, the link is below in the description. If you need my help to get you up to speed and uh, get you ready for the material here on Lick and Riff, which is for more intermediate players, um, then you can check out Strike a Chord, okay, the link below in the description, and uh, go check it out. So um, let's begin. So in order to teach you the intro, I'm going to need you to take your fourth finger and put it on two on the fifth string, okay, a B bass note, okay. This is going to serve you for the entire riff. Now you start by playing strings 6-5, and then you put three on the sixth string, so you have a G chord head, right, shape-wise, and you play, again, strings six and five, 
Okay, so you have 0, 2, 3, 2 on string 6 and 5. Okay? And then you play 0 and 2 again. And then you have 4 and 0 on the 5th string. Now, I like to hammer it on. Okay, but you can do... Okay, you can do 4, 0. You can alternate between them. Okay, or... Okay, with a hammer on. To get the right feel, okay, the, the right feel, okay, my feel, to get my feel in the demonstration, I am palm muting the notes. Okay, and I'm also slapping. Okay, so um, if you're not used to slapping, I have lessons for how to incorporate slapping into your fingerstyle playing, okay, so check that out as well. You can play it three times, four times, 16 times, how many times you like. And then when you're ready, you play okay, nine slide to 12 on the third string. Okay, and then the harmonics, the natural harmonic on 12, okay, on strings, <clears throat> on strings, sorry, on strings two, one, two. Okay, now. If you're a stickler for uh, exact harmonies, when you play the harmonic on the second string, okay, the last note, you can play the E bass string with it. Okay? But I don't think it's necessary. I think the interplay between the bass and the high notes here is really nice. So I just start the riff afterwards. I started from the second note. Okay, I started from the fifth string. Okay, so. Just start from the second note. If you want, you can play the bass. Okay? You can play the E bass and then continue playing the riff from the second note. But I like this. Okay, I like to give the solo, the high notes, I like to give them the spotlight and then I go back. Okay? Just a question and answer sort of thing. But if you want a full arrangement, Okay, and you really do miss this note, okay, you can play it. Okay, and then you stop in the middle of the riff, okay, before, okay, before the two, four, zero on the fifth string to play this. Okay, so it's... It's two, three, two, zero, hammer on, double pull off on the second string. And then you have two pull off to zero again with the sixth string. Okay, or just two, zero, you don't need to pull off. And then I play this. Okay, or okay, any variation on this. I just play two, zero on the third string. And then three slide to five on the second string with the open first. Okay, to get that unison. So you can play three and two on the second and third strings. Okay, to have a slide to four as well on the third string. Okay, to get a full chord sound. I like the thin sound here. Okay, just strings one and two. But if you want, you can add the third. Uh, on two and four, okay? So you have this as well. I like thin, okay? The thin sound here um, because uh, that's the nature of the arrangement. Uh, I can't explain why, it's just the way it came to me. So uh, again, okay? And you can repeat the note if you want and then you have the solo. now. Ray Manzarek, he, he plays it. Da -da 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 okay, he plays uh, eighth notes. Now, I divided it like this. Okay, I do it like this because it fits the guitar sound better, the acoustic sound, instead of, okay, instead of uh, having to chase the notes, okay, um, or having a really complex uh, scale shape um, that is, more classically oriented, 
I went with the finger style approach with the more modern finger style percussive approach. So it's okay. So you can slap. Okay. That's the main reason I did it. Okay. And again, because it gives the notes more space. Okay. Keyboards and guitars are entirely different instruments. So then they need different expressions. Um, so I'm playing uh, hammer-ons. I'm playing 10 to 12, then, 10, then 9 to 10, okay, because it's E Dorian, and then it's 7 to 9, okay, then it's 5 to 7, then it's 3 to 5, 2 to 3, and then you can do um, 0 to 2, okay, and then three to five on the second string or three on the second string and the open first, okay? And then, okay, two to three, zero to two on the second string. Um, and you play the bass, okay, every first uh, beat. Okay, and then uh, I start the main riff, what I call the main riff. I borrowed it from the later keyboard solo and I borrowed it and made uh, a chord riff out of it. Okay, it's E minor A, E minor 7 and A. So E minor. I pick strings 2, 3, and 4 with the E bass. And then I play a note out of the chord pretty randomly, the third string, the fourth, okay? And then I play the chord again, it's usually with a slap, okay? And then it's A. And again, I play strings 2, 3, 4, this time with the fifth string, okay? And then again note out of the chord and then the rest of the chord. Then I play three and four on strings two and three with the E bass. This is E minor seven, okay? So uh, three and four on two and three with the E bass. And then back to A. So E minor and then A and then three and four on two and three, E minor seven. Okay, that's what I call my main chord riff here. Now, I am going to play it between melody notes. So get used to it. Okay, and after you get real friendly with this and you can play it in your sleep, the rest is pretty easy. You start with E minor, okay, Riders on the Storm, zero, zero, three, three, zero on the first string. That's it. Now, the last note, the open E string, is played with an A chord, okay? Okay, so it's E minor, A, and then you continue. Okay, you continue the, the main riff. Okay, the chord riff. So you're on A, then you go to the 3 and 4 for E minor 7, and then A again. Okay, and then you play it again. A, A. Okay, now you can slide into the chord. Just A minor, 5-5-5, five, 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 bar on strings 1, 2, and 3, with the 5th string. You play 5-5-5 five, five, five on, uh, on the 1st string as well. And then 8 on the 2nd, op uh, not open, but 5 on the 1st string again. Okay, you can play the bar. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, it's 
355 and then 577 on strings 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 355, okay, it's normally C, and 577 is D. Okay, now both of them, I play it with the A bass, the open fifth string. Now this turns this chord into A minor 7. Okay, so, and then you have D over A. Okay? I like to maintain the, the bass drone just for dramatic purposes here. So, okay, so the third line was. And the fourth line is the same as the first and second. And then you start A minor on five again. Okay, up to eight on the second string, but then instead of A minor again, you play D. So it's five, seven, seven. You can play D with the D string or with the A bass string. Okay, so you can do D or D over A. I like to maintain the A bass note. Okay, so, okay, this was the first one. The second one was D. Okay, you can play D or, okay. Keep the A bass going. And then, then you have uh, the A minor 7, okay, the C chord with the A bass. Okay, so you play 3-3-3 three, three, three on the first string and then let go of the chord and play the first string open. Okay, you have okay, D and then C okay, over A, which makes it A minor 7 again. And then the open uh, first string, and then you have this. Okay. Now, technically, this is a sus four. Okay. But what we're getting here is actually D over A with the melody note. Okay. The E melody note five on the second string. So it's five five seven on strings one two and three with A. Okay, so that is my harmonic choice here. Okay, there are many, many ways to play this line, but I chose this because it maintains this movement. Okay, so, okay, you get what I'm, what I'm saying here? So, so, D, C, okay, I play it with the A bass, you can play C. Okay, you can play a bar. Okay, and then the open uh, first string, and then technically A sus4, but I call it D over A with a melody note. Um, and then you have the main line again. And then it's just freestyle. You freestyle over the, the beginning, you freestyle. Okay, over this, you freestyle over anything you want. Okay, you freestyle over anything you want, you just create your own solo. Now, um, I play this, okay? I play a high version as well. which is seven and eight on one and two with E, nine and 10 with A, 10 and 12 with E, and then again back to A, nine and 10 with A. Okay, so. Now you can also do this if you want. And you can do if you want um, just uh, an interplay with an E minor chord. So it's seven, eight, nine, okay, and I pl I push it back and forth two frets. Okay, I do the same thing with twelve on strings one, two, and three. Okay, um, okay, it's easier to do it quickly instead of slowly. 
Okay, but you don't have to. Okay, and you can play around with these chords as well. Um, and then I just um, finish like I started. Download the tab for free from the website. The link is below in the description. As usual, the tabs are free, always for free uh, here on Lick and Riff. So uh, check out uh, my Complete Guitar Freedom Core Series while you're there and uh, you enjoy, have fun with this. Let me know how it goes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Have fun.